And I notice once again you moved away from the typewriter. Yep. It's like the exact same spot too. In fact, I I was wondering if you had accidentally loaded up the same video again. But no, I see this one is shorter. A yeah, whole five minutes even. Oh no, wait, no, I think it was two episodes ago that was like 17 minutes instead of a 12 to 15. What's really impre also impressive is these candles and fires are still burning. You know, that's a good point. How and why? Like, lights I could understand. But less so the, uh, the candles. Yeah, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Then, for whatever reason, somebody left all the lights on. Yeah, it's like this place has been more or less abandoned for like three weeks. Or three months, even. Meanwhile, the power company is like, well, somebody's still paying the bill, so. Either that or the month isn't up yet. I guess. They're on their final notice. Or it could just be like some sort of like automatic payment thing. But that was, well, I don't know if that really happened in the, uh. Well. You know what? This place is way out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. I'd be surprised if they were on the grid at all. That's true. It's probably powered by a generator down in the umbrella facility. A really good generator. Several generators, probably. Which makes me wonder, is like, did anybody see or hear the explosion when this place blows up? It was probably distant, but yes, I imagine somebody damn well heard it. It happens early in the morning, so somebody might have seen it too, at least really, really distantly. It's still really confused that the zombies, like, you don't have to burn any of, any of the ones out there. They just disappear. Oversight by the programmers, I imagine. Yeah, that's because, well, the only other time you really need to come out there is when you fight the Crimson Head prototype. So they probably don't want you to, like, be stuck bet between a rock and a hard place if you somehow manage to open that door back up while the Crimson Head is still in there. And the zombie starts roaming down the steps. Yeah, you would be kind of screwed there. Speaking of rooms, I would not want to be in. Yeah, this seems dangerous. Like given, I would at least shut the shut the window. Yeah, given hmm, another one of those. But yeah, given the game's propensity to have things come in through windows. This is like practically saying, Hey, something's gonna attack you. But maybe that's the point, because nothing ever does. Which is Actually, well, there's really not enough space to fight anything in there. That's probably what it was like, yeah, we, we were going to, but we decided not to. I mean, they could have had crows come in through the window. But usually they like to at least give you a little space to fight things. Because there is actually no real small rooms that you fight anything. Or where anything can attack you. I would say what, like, this, oh, this room itself is like, what, like 16 by 20 or something? Yeah, that sounds about right. That's about roughly the size of most rooms you have to fight anything, or where anything can attack you. Mm. So they at least give you room to maneuver ever so slightly. I mean, obviously, without all the furniture in here, like you could easily avoid being shanked by a hunter 
It wouldn't be easy, but you could do it. Not that I really expect that to ever be a thing, but... Yeah, I'm sure by, by the point hunters become like an actual thing, I will hopefully be long dead. And hopefully not a zombie. And if I am a zombie, I would like to be one of those, like, unique special zombies. Rather than just a generic shambling corpse. Should there be a cover on that? Yes, there should be. And I want to know how this freaking 12 volt car battery is powering a goddamn elevator. Maybe it's like one of those really super powerful lithium car batteries. Well, those didn't even exist in 1996 or whatever the hell this is. 1998. Why me and Umbrella? On the other hand, a uh, battery could just... What? I was going to say the battery could be there as like a... Uh, a voltage regulation kind of thing, but it doesn't really make sense. That's something you'd see on a car. Maybe it's just there to act as like a pass through for the rest of the electricity or something. I don't know. That's kind of what I mean. Or the voltage is just like, holy shit, tiny, tiny battery, go. I'm gonna guess it's just like some kind of super fucking bad good battery. Granted that elevator can only carry like it looks like it'll only carry like well, four people. Five really packed in there. Probably only really meant for like one person, one or two people at a time. I'm guessing yeah, like two people tops. So I can see how that works. And why it's so slow. Yay, this part of the game. <sighs> but all the rooms look the same. Rock. Lots and lots of rocks. And I don't need to crank anymore. Yay. That crank will come back to haunt you. Nah, you don't, you don't actually need that crank anymore. And finally, I'm not saving in the uh, West Wing save room. It is a Christmas miracle in March. Talk about dating this video. Well, I mean typewriter, so it's already pretty dated. Eh, fair. I can only imagine how hellish it would be watching a, watching us play a Silent Hill Dawn because the map would be open like every two seconds. Oh god. And I mean like I wanna play the game, but you know Don't wanna subject people to us playing the game. There would be a lot of uh, a lot of skipping. A lot of fast forwarding. I can hear the yakety sax now. Shiny. I saw it. Pick up the thing. I saw it, but like, I can't see it when I'm right next to it. It's just handgun bullets. It was basically invisible. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? I like that kind of half-hearted no, yeah. But why? <laughs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Thank you for pointing that out, Alex. <laughs> Never Just... would have imagined. Enrico! So much that good that bulletproof vest is doing. 
trailer. Yeah, come to think of it, it would have made a hell of a lot more sense to shoot him in the head, because shooting him in the lung, while it would definitely kill him, it wouldn't kill him fast enough to stop him from telling Jill what was going on. God damn it! What did I tell you? But it's a different crank. <sighs> Nicely done. I could probably stand to turn down that enemy has seen you sound, but eh, whatever. Work well, I would say copyrighted version, but I don't think anybody really cares. No, you're probably safe. Fair use or something. Boulders. I forgot it wasn't that boulder that I actually like, rolled down at you. But my lawyer I'm, has told me not to uh, not to do the Indiana Jones thing. If you say so. Wait, Daredevil is your lawyer? Yes. Who is not Matthew Murdock? Instead, I'm going to save at this thing a whole bunch. I suppose this is kind of going to be our base of operations for the next little while. Yeah, for the next uh, episode or two. Well, 